Question 2. Part 1, sine 2x equals 0.5. So the fact that it's sine of some other number of x other than just 1x doesn't need to be a problem. We just need a trick that we use each time we see that and we're solving a trick equation. And the trick is to use a substitution of some, some other variable. It doesn't have to be y. I call, I use y just because we've just used x. So if we let y be 2x, then the whole thing becomes just sine y equals 0.5. But we just need to pay attention to the range. So from the question, the angle x has to be between 0 and 180. But we're interested in 2x. So doubling all three parts of that inequality, we get that 2x has to be between 0 and 360. But 2x is just y, isn't it? So now we have our recast version of the problem. We're solving sine of a thing equals 0.5 uh, for values of that thing between 0 and 360. So we're in familiar territory now. If we inverse sine both sides of the sine y equals 0.5 equation, we get 30 degrees as our principal value. Now we just need to check whether there are, are any other values of y in the range 0 to 360 for which the sine of that angle is a half. Well, they were drawing a line across at 0 0.5 and there's our 30 degrees and look we get another value there and it's going to be 150 degrees because by symmetry we do 180 take away 30 degrees. So we have a second solution, y equals 150 degrees. Now, some people stop there, they think they've finished. But of course, we would have forgotten to actually solve the original problem, which is in x. So just note that to get back from y to x, we have to halve the y values. And our final answers then are just x equals a half of 30 is 15, and half of 150 is 75 degrees. OK, part two. Now, this looks more complicated, but it just requires you to use an identity. Now, the problem with this, as it's first written, is that there are two trig ratios that exist in this equation. And you're not going to be able to solve a trig equation if you've got two different trig ratios, in this case, sine and cos. Now, we've got two identities that we can use. There's the tan x1. We know that tan x is equivalent to sine x over cos x. But if you look carefully, that's not going to be useful in this identity because it's not going to be able to eliminate anything. Whereas our other uh, identity, sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1, we can use straight away. So we can replace our sine squared x with 1 minus cos squared x. I've done nothing to the right-hand side of the equation at the moment. It's still 2 minus root 3 cos x. But now if we expand the left-hand side, and then notice that we've got a plus 2 on both sides, which we can cancel. Now what can we do with this? Can we divide by cos x? Many people do this, but that would, be, that would cause a problem because you should never divide by zero, and therefore you should never divide by something that could be zero. And cos x could be zero. So you're not allowed to divide by it. So instead, just move both terms to the same side of the equation. I've added two cos squared x to both sides. And then we factorize. So take cos x out as a factor. <coughs> That's then a zero product, so either the left factor, cos x, equals zero, or the right factor, 2 cos x, subtract root 3, equals zero, which rearranges to cos x equals root 3 over 2. OK, we need a little bit more space, because we need to still now solve those two equations. So let's draw cos x. And note from the question that we're only interested in values of x between 0 and 180, and we haven't done the substitution this time, so we don't need to modify that. 
So I'm just sketching here y equals cos x in the range that we're interested in. Now we don't really need the sketch here because the fact that it's only between 0 and 180 means we're only going to get one value anyway for each sub-equation. So cos x equals 0, shift cos of 0 gives us 90 degrees. We can see that from the diagram. And if we inverse cos root 3 over 2, we get that x is 30 degrees. And that's it. There's no, we, we can't do 360 minus that to get another value um, because that would just take us straight out of the range. So we are done.